the Appalachian Mountains. Such a beautiful mountain. And this includes the whole eastern half of the North America. It's got over 158 species of trees up and down this North America on the east side. And preferably what we're talking about is the ash tree. If you look closer, you can see them, how dead they are. And it's estimated to be over 7 billion ash trees in just the eastern part of the U.S. alone. And here's what they look like. They're a good shade. They block out the sun real good. And they grow 50 to 80 foot tall. Beautiful tree. And they can live up to 200 years old. So a lot of the urban areas, subdivisions, and little communities, they love these trees. And out in the wild, they don't grow open like that. They, they have to compete for light in these hardwoods and these mountains and these ridges. So they grow real tall before they even have a canopy on. Straight up. So beautiful. And here's the different kind of ashes they are. Green ash, black ash and white ash. And mostly what we'd be talking about in this video is the white ash. And here's the range of the white ash trees in the U.S. They go plumb up into Canada. But this is the range of them. And here's the bark and the leaves of what they look like. White, green, or black ash. Looks diamond shaped. And if you look up in the woods here, you'll see trees like this. Just dead trees. So sad to see them that way. And there's estimated already over 20 million ash trees lost so far. And here's what's causing it. A little old pretty beetle called the emerald ash borer. And here's about the size of it. He could fit a lot less than a penny. That's the size of this little ash borer that's causing all this havoc. These old mighty trees, these little ash borers, according on the tree size, it could take years to kill them. But they'll just slowly die, section by section, till they're gone. And they think they was brought over here from Asia, preferably China, where they had predators and other insects to feed on them, but not here in the U.S. They had no natural immunity to them or nothing. And when they affected the tree, their larvae got around in the tree under the bark, and it just made rings and circles all around the tree, like this. Here's an old ash tree, had to be cut down a few years ago. Over a hundred year old. And here's what they look like when they infect the tree, what they do to it. They cut off the water and the nutrient throughout the tree and they slowly kill it. And here's an old piece of wood that I'd cut out of one of them. And you can see where they bored all around the tree. It starves the tree of the nutrients and the water to supply the leaves. And it slowly kills it. And you could tell your tree's affected if it's not being dead yet by holes like this. Where well, the moths come out of it, bored into it. And they'll spread. And this is what the tree looks like as time goes by. It'll slowly die section by section, but it will die. And they the one thing you can do for it. And get that part. That's sad. That's over a 120 year old tree right there. 80 foot tall. There's another one. That's probably 50 foot tall. And it's so sad to do that. Big old tree. They block out the sun. Now these old trees, they try to survive as time goes on. They've, you'll see all kinds of little fresh sprouts 
coming right on the side of it. It's trying to survive, but it can't. It's just prolonging the acne of dying. And ain't one thing you can do is cut them down. Now they've been trying, they've got methods. If you can catch the tree in time before it's infected too much with insecticides, they pump into the tree or the root system. But it's kind of expensive. They'd even pour it around in a bucket of water mixed around so the roots would soak it up. But when you've got hundreds of these trees in these ridges, how do you do this effectively? You can't. You just can't do it. But after they're affected so long, there ain't but one thing you can do. Cut it down. It becomes a fire hazard or a safety hazard or falling on somebody or your house. But out in the wild, it don't matter. It just becomes a fire danger. And you can see here, the good side of it is, is an endless supply of firewood. But I don't like that. I love these beautiful trees and all these trees. But what's next in our forest that comes in here? It was the pine beetles, the aphids. We can't even control the stink bug. How can we control them? So, I want to thank you for watching. God bless, and I'll see you next time.